Well, it is another beautiful day here on the homestead. A little bit chilly, but it is gorgeous. Just got off of work, got home, and I'm getting ready to lay out and start uh, putting some metal on the roof here. We are doing, the kit came with a 29 gauge Galvaloom metal roofing. So, um, I'm not, I've always done shingles my whole life. I've done small buildings like the chicken coop and, and buildings like that with, uh, with metal, but never anything of this size. Um, but I did have a friend of mine had me help him a few times and taught me a few tricks of, on doing metal roofing. So we're going to give it a try here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I figured out down here at the bottom from the post out, it's about 16 inches of overhang. So I'm going to try to do the same thing along the sides just to keep it uniform looking. Uh, of course, my purlins go on out past that. So what I've done is I figured out about 16 inches minus would come out about right here and then took off for my fascia board that's going to go up the rake and i'll cut that off there when the time gets right for now i'm, I'm just going to leave it i've got it marked so what i'm what i've done is the gavel looms 36 inches plus it's got a little two inch piece that goes down that the next rib will go over top of so what i've done is i've allowed for that I've come, I marked, and using the three, four, five method, come down here, and I marked three feet. Okay, and then from here I went up four feet, and then the diagonal from that outside edge on three foot mark up to the four foot mark is five feet. And where five feet hits, that's where my line is, and that will give me a perfectly square straight line up for the metal to start so it'll be square square with this outside eave going down and through here that's the plan anyways so these purlins are exactly two feet on center so i'm going to pre-drill my metal just so that way i can i like the screw heads to all match up i know i'm a little strange but uh when you pre-drill and you've pre-measured everything and they're all evenly spaced, your screw heads will be straight in straight lines, pretty much any angle you look at them. And it gives it a very, very cool look when it's finished. It looks like you tried to know what you were doing at least. Another way I'm going to try to keep this eave straight is I measured down but I'm gonna let my I'm gonna let my metal overhang three inches. Uh, so I'm gonna do I measure down three inches, put a string, and then all the way down on the other end, I put the three inches in a string. So that way I can keep my metal going with this string and hopefully keep it straight going down the, the eave here. Okay, so here's what I did with the first piece. I went to the bottom, measured up three inches, of course, and then another three quarters of an inch because the width of the board is an inch and a half, the outside board there. So I went three and three quarters, and that was my starter screw right here. And then two foot on center after that, all the way up. And I measured both sides, and then run a straight line across the ribs. Now. The outside rib, I'm not going to screw down yet. I'm not really even pre-drilling that one because it's going to be covered with a piece of uh, gable rake. And I'm also not pre-drilling this piece, which is going to be the next sheet is going to overlap this rib. So I don't want to drill holes in that. I'll drill holes on my next sheet. I'll, I'll drill holes in this piece, which is going to overlap that section right here. And that way the first hole is pre-drilled this one's not, and that way I get a watertight seal.
I apologize, it is a little bit windy today, so it's going to be uh, annoying in the camera. I'm using two inch screws. And the reason I'm using two inch screws is because I'm going in the rib. I want to make sure I've got enough penetration into the into the pearl one. Um, I had this guy, I just put a screw in to hold it in place until I could get all these screws in there. You, uh, oh, there, the argument can be made, it's better in a rib, it's better down in the valley. It's, to me, I believe it's personal preference. I prefer the, oh, for the roof, I prefer it up in the rib. Just because even if the, the washer, the rubber washer dry rots um, and starts to go bad, you're still not gonna have a bad leak. Whereas down in, down in here where the water's running, you're gonna have more of a leak. So that's why I'm choosing to do it this way. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is screw off my, my rib that's overlapping, and then I'll come down here and look. And it looks like we're pretty close to the string. Might be a 16th long. So what I'll do is I'll go up to the top and do a little bit of bunching. What that is, is I'll, I'll take maybe like a half inch or so and kind of pick up the middle and screw the outside edge. And then once that's screwed off, 
you can actually push the middle back down and it kind of bunches it up up top which will get us back on track down here at the bottom it's called bunching and stretching it's actually a really cool way to keep your metal straight along the outside drip edge so to bunch it I just push this side in about I uh, probably about a half inch and put a screw to kind of hold it and then I just come right over here and put one and it's it's real floppy but it will mash back down and what that does is it bunches it up up top which expands down at the bottom and now I'm back on my line and now I can screw everything off probably my favorite reason for doing the screws up on the rib is they're straight up and down looking in a, in the line that way if you turn look a little bit different angle they're all in a straight line you go that direction they're all in a straight line every way you look they're <laughs> pretty much all in a straight line in rows if you're OCD you'll appreciate that well that's about all we're gonna have daylight for for today I just wanted to show a quick video of how to do uh, metal roofing and pre-drilling you get your screw heads all to match up and everything so it'll probably be a few days before I can work on this again we've got something pretty big coming up and uh, I'll be sharing here in a couple of days but um I at least wanted to get get this started and now the hard part's done on that side so it all should run pretty smooth now so Hopefully this video was helpful to somebody. If it is, if you could leave us a thumbs up, we would greatly appreciate it. And uh, we appreciate you guys watching, and we will see you on the next video.